Hi, I'm Colin Hung with Healthcare IT Today, and I'm sitting down with Kerry Alexian Turnin, VP of Portfolio Marketing, and Justin Wampak, VP of Product Marketing for, oh, sorry, VP of Product for Scheduling yes. at Tiger Connect. Welcome to the program. Thanks. Thanks for having us. So today we're going to be talking about how important it is for healthcare organizations to make things easier and less frustrating for staff, a key thing these days. And we're also going to talk about uh, enabling real-time communications and developing staff scheduling, which honestly is an area that's new to me and I'm anxious to find out a lot more. So let's start by just, uh, let me ask you this. The, the staffing challenge in healthcare is on the lips of everybody. It's dominating the headlines, it's on the lips of a lot of people here at the conference, uh, and it's definitely one of the concerns of executives in the country. What role, if any, does technology play in helping to address this challenge? I think there are a number of different things that, that technology helps with. One, in terms of transparency uh -huh. of schedules. Justin's going to talk a little bit about our, our scheduling software, but enabling people to be able to see you know what what schedules are available and and how they can manage their time yeah i think one of the biggest things that we see is making sure that the right messages and the right pieces of communication are getting to, through to the right people yeah. at the right time right there's i mean everyone is getting bothered so many times during the day for so many different things that we really want to uh, pare that down and just deliver good quality uh, message content, things that are relevant to the people, so that we're not burning people out as much. Gotcha. Carrie, you were just going to say something? Uh, yeah, I was just going to add to that and say, um, in terms of the staffing fatigue, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, echoing Justin's comment, but also making sure that uh, we can reduce the amount of alarms that are coming in so that we're not overburdening those staff. And that's um, key. That's, that, key, that's key because burnout is a real thing as well. So Tiger Connect helps uh, clinical and administrative staff communicate better. That's sort of your hallmark and collaborate more seamlessly. Um, but let's be honest, communication doesn't bubble up to the top of my mind, at least when I think about ways we can help improve the staffing burden. I mean, I think about things like, you know, more overtime pay and, uh, you know, better, better hours and those kinds of things. But you're saying that actually communication is very key to reducing burnout. I, I think in terms of efficiency, it's really important, right? When you think about burnout, it's typically because people are having to do tasks that take more time. The workload that they have assigned to them just keeps bundling up or... or or building up, um, being able to communicate efficiently and get that information at the right time and be able to respond to it in context, in the moment, helps you clear those tasks and ultimately um, you know, make them more efficient. Yeah, the amount of things that, that people are asked to do or the amount of uh, calls and emails and messages and pages that happen throughout the day just to find the right people, right? So communication, Proper communication really is about getting rid of the noise. So getting rid of the stuff that people don't mean, making sure again that we have the right things going to the right people at the right time with context so that they can understand and they can work more efficiently. Yeah, like what, you're, what I'm hearing you say is if I was a nurse and I was trying to find a particular individual to help me out with my patient, if I'm the one having to wait or hunt them down, that's a lot of waste of my time yeah. and so I get frustrated. Exactly. That person I'm chasing is probably getting 20 or so pages or some other communication. They're getting frustrated because like, why is this person keep find, trying to find me or bother exactly. me? And so having that communication, I guess, yeah. It, it, and well, imagine you know, that how that feels for the patient right, who's yeah, waiting right, for exactly, the additional yeah. response, right? To your point, if you're sending a page but you're not getting any response back or you're dialing a phone but nobody's on the other end, um, you know, that, that's, that's a challenging uh, thing to overcome. You know, it's 2022. Everybody has a device in their hand, of right? Of course. And so people need to be using those more effectively. The organizations need to be using them more effectively, again, so that we're only communicating the things that we need to, to the right people. Now, Tiger Connect recently uh, released a new product. Yes. Uh, and it's in the medical resident scheduling space. Yes. Which, again, I did not know a lot about, but this is in addition to all of the clinical collaboration stuff that you do. You bet. And you already had released previously a physician scheduling module as well. Why is it important, or why was it important for Tiger Connect to get into this space? Sure. So the residents are at the core of every academic medical center. 
And typically when somebody gets activated for a call, so a cardiologist or a hospitalist needs to you know, find a consulting physician, the resident is usually the first point of contact, right? Okay. And so scheduling those residents, getting them through all three or four years of their residency, and then also um, tracking all that information so at the end of their residency period they can qualify for their boards, we saw a huge hole in that market, right? And so what was happening is people were using Excel spreadsheets, residents were literally like carrying around pieces of paper in their pocket about what their rotations were. It just absolutely ridiculous in 2022. So, so we were able to take our software, wrap it around this whole residency scheduling problem to schedule the residents faster, schedule them easier, but then foremost, make sure that now they're part of the communication ecosystem so that others can find them, message them, communicate with them, and you know, really train them and prepare them for what's coming next in their career. So just to give some context, how long would it take somebody to make a resident, typical resident schedule using Excel spreadsheets? Oh, 80 to 100 hours probably really? for an that academic long? year. Yep. Oh and these are doctors that are doing the work and they're doing it nights and weekends because during the day or, or at, you know, they're seeing patients, they're actually you know, working there in school. Of course. Yep, so this is all stuff that they're doing you know, while we're having fun with our friends and while we're going out to movies and you know, things that we did before COVID. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and they're spending their time doing scheduling, so. And, and uh, you know, when you have that information as part of your other Tiger Connect product, by having the schedule in there, you're, what you mentioned was that you know when this resident is on shift. Yes. And right. so now I know I can communicate with them. Is that, is that right? That's Karen? right. That's right. And um, the nice part of the work that Justin did is not only can, will you be able to see your resident schedules through Tiger Connect on a single mobile device, you'll be able to see your call schedules also fully integrated. And when those residents are assigned to jobs, um, you'll be able to see who's on call based on the groups or the roles that are created inside of inside of the, the Tiger Connect platform. So, so what's the early feedback been on the product so far? So, so we're in beta right now, um, and we're actually receiving really good feedback. So people have been doing this again with Excel or paper and pencil. And so to have a tool that's easy to use, um, you know, uh, visually appealing, fast, plus it has all the communication tools that they're um, used to, we've, we've had really good feedback so far. The other piece as well is it's fully uh, built in the cloud. Right, so no need to install on a specific uh, device that's in the hospital, have to walk to that specific station to do scheduling or in a physician's office or wherever you may be. You can access it from anywhere. And um, that schedule is also visible from anywhere, whether it's a resident or a physician or anybody else that you're sharing that information with, they can get it in real time. So those changes, if there's a swap that happens, it's gonna update automatically and right everybody's away. gonna be up to speed. That's amazing. You know, up until now, residents have been left out of that whole process. Right. So everything for residents has been kind of done off to the side. Now, with this system, you know, residents are fully integrated in with the healthcare system, the same way that the doctors are and the nurses and other healthcare providers are. Nice. So we're here at, at HIMSS 22, that's where we are. What other healthcare challenges are catching your attention right now or that you're hearing from attendees? You know, I think we're constantly hearing things like you mentioned about, um, about staffing, about pe work satisfaction, um, how do we get more staff, how do we get more people. Uh, not only on the physician side, but we're really also starting to hear a lot of it around the nursing side, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we have all these fancy systems in place now, right? EHR systems and things that can, you know, um, give us all these analytics and all this information about the past. How, you know, how are organizations taking that information and using it to look forward for, right. for staff planning and things like that, again, so that it's no longer just what somebody's gut tells them they're gonna need for tomorrow, but there's actual fact and information based on that. So those are some, some things at least I'm looking at. Carrie, what are you hearing? Um, I'm, I'm hearing about consolidation, vendor okay. consolidation, simplifying the world of all of the disparate systems that are in there, and um, how do you modernize as we go forward? So you have you know some of the, the older systems that are in place that are important clinically and, and need to remain, but how do you make sure that they communicate with 
with these new mobile devices or the new uh, artificial intelligence technology or you know even to what Justin's built in scheduling, making sure that everything's cohesive. So regardless of who you're communicating with, you have better context um, and you're also communicating with the right person. So there's information flow from system to people to teams right. within, the, within the hospital. Last question, where can people go to find out more information about Tiger Connect? Ah, uh, website? Course. TigerConnect.com, yeah. come on. Well, this has been great. Thank you for being on our program. You shared a lot of really great information. Really appreciate it. You're welcome. You got Tom. it. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Hey, if you enjoyed this interview as much as I did, we'd love for you to give us a high rating wherever you're listening or watching to this. Also, head on over to healthcareittoday.com where we have a lot of free resources, articles, and a lot of insightful in, uh, news. Also, you can catch us on Twitter using the hashtag HITSM. I'm Colin Hung with Healthcare IT Today. Thanks for watching.